Mr. Beast will go to jail if he loses the 100 million dollars last year. Hello everyone, I'm going to ask you today I'll tell you about the conflict between Mr. Beast and the company Virtual Dining Concepts, which is seeking 100 million dollars from Jimmy. But don't you think that this whole situation is just a well-planned PR move? Each of you knows about Mr. Beast's company, Mr. Beast Burger. Jimmy created this business together with a partner, Virtual Dining Concepts. However, not long ago, the quality and taste of their burgers declined, and Jimmy expressed dissatisfaction about it. He decided to terminate the contract with them to avoid damaging his reputation. But what happened next is hard to believe. The company filed a last year in response to the last year that the blogger filed in July. The blogger demanded the company to terminate the contract with him, claiming that Mr. Beast Burger serves disgusting and animable hamburgers that harm Mr. Beast's reputation. In turn, the company with which Mr. Beast is team calls the blogger's sections unfounded and deal conceived. The management of virtual dining concepts is confident that Jimmy Dawson violated the contract and then attempted to strike a new deal with another contractor to serve his own interest. And there are even more. After all, he just wants to take a bigger share of the brand himself. But the company's greatest response in the form of the lawsuit for an 8 digit amount in dollars. This is in case involving a social media celebrity. Thanks to their popularity, celebrities can break their public promises. This is exactly what I always talk about in my videos. Mr. Vince constantly deceives his viewers and breaks the promises he made to them. Okay, however, if bloggers think they can simply break their promises without any consequences, they're mistaken. Indeed, they demanded compensation of a hundred one hundred million dollars from Jimmy. But as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, all of this is absolute nonsense and falsehood. And now, I'll prove it. First of all, can a company demand just 100 million dollars from a blogger for managing network? After all, Jimmy earns billions of dollars on YouTube. Can he really be sued over a measly 100 million dollars when he hands out that much money in each video? A coincidence, isn't it? And do you still think that Mr. Beast is the most honest person on earth? I beg you, it's absolute nonsense everything he says. Moreover, according to official information, the Mr. Beast Burger bread was launched in December 2020. And by the end of 2022, it had up to 1,700 locations worldwide. On average, one burger costs $10, so we can assume that each burger joint sells at least 50 burgers per day. This means 1,500 burgers per month, which in turn means that the revenue of each location is $15,000 per month. Subtract salaries and other expenses, they get around $5,000 net profit. Multiply this by the number of burger joints, which is 1,700, and you get around $8.5 million in revenue per month, considering tax payments. Mr. Beast spends more than $100 million on one of his videos. Why would he keep such network if it's not profitable at all? He brings in $8.5 million per month. Well, simply because he doesn't actually own this network. He's not a partner of this network and doesn't earn from it. He just tried it here with the company Virtual Dining Concepts to inflate the conflict for money. The maximum he paid was just around $50,000 for collaboration, which gives him an incredibly high hub in popularity. This all makes Jimmy even more popular and in the end, he must surpass the service in terms of subscribers. So our conclusion is that this is just a specially planned conflict to profit from the attention drawn. Subscribe if you love your mom. Bye.